I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. It was the late 1930s when those famous words were spoken by Yankee great Lou Gehrig, who had been suffering from ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It was robbing the Hall of Fame athlete of his physical abilities, but from that moment on, the ailment simply became known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS has hit home here at KFBK. Reporter Dina Dratkus was diagnosed with the disease late last year. In the first of a three-part series this morning, Dean shares his story. Not the best Christmas present, I was told last December. I was diagnosed with a form of motor neuron disease that lays waste to its victims within two to five years. ALS is a neurologic disease that affects the motor system and results from uh, degeneration of the motor neurons. Dr. Ricardo Maselli is a professor of neurology at UC Davis. The disease results in, in progressive uh, weakness and muscle atrophy. In the end, you're imprisoned in your own body, unable to move with a mind fully intact. There is no cure, and progress has gone at a snail's pace, even since the late 30s, when legendary Yankee slugger Lou Gehrig lent his name to the death sentence. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. That I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you. Well, we here at KFBK want you to know that baseball and ALS will once again be joined together this weekend. KFBK's Cammie Lloyd joins us live now to tell us why. Amy, the River Cats are doing their part to help fight ALS. That tomorrow night's game, the Cats will be raising money for the local ALS association. Five dollars from every special $20 ticket will be donated. The money will in part go to fund drug research for Lou Gehrig's disease. All you need to do is buy a ticket. Now coming up next hour, we will have part two of Dean's story. And he will tell us how important his family and friends have become as he battles ALS. Reporting live, Cammie Lloyd, News Talk 1530, KFBK. We're Sacramento's news station. 24 hour newsroom, Marseilles Chavez, News Talk 1530, KFBK. Thank you, Marseilles. Last hour, we shared with you that one of KFBK's reporters, Dina Dratkus, has been stricken with ALS, commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's an illness that is stripping away Dean's motor skills. In part two of this three-part series, Dean tells us about the importance of being surrounded by family and friends as he battles this disease. Family support is crucial in coping with ALS. My wife, Catherine, has been a trooper. When we first found out that Dean had ALS, um, and people found out that he had it, they would come to me and say, boy, you know, you're doing so well, you're, you're being so positive and strong for him. And I always say, well, what if it were you? What if your husband got this? What if um, you got this? What would your husband do? You know, you do what you can do. She also believes there's a reason behind all of this. Dean um, is, is exactly the person God wants to speak uh, for all of those who have ALS and who feel without hope. I think um, he is perfect for the job of, of raising awareness and research monies for ALS. Now, there's a way that you can help raise money to help find a cure for ALS. And for more on that side of the story, we go live now to KFBK's Cami Lloyd. It won't take a lot, just a trip to the ballpark. Tomorrow night, the River Cats game is helping raise money for ALS. Five dollars from every special $20 ticket is being donated to the local ALS chapter. The money raised will in part go to drug research, which is absolutely necessary if a cure is to be found. Now coming up next hour, we will have part three of Dean's story. Uh, reporting live, I'm Cammie Lloyd. News, News Talk 1530, KFBK. Thank you, say. And it's been nearly six months now since KFBK's Dina Dratkus first learned that he had been stricken with ALS, most commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. In part three of this morning's three-part series, KFBK's Cammie Lloyd tells us how every day brings new tests for our co-workers. The physical and mental challenges come daily for Dean. I felt a sense that I was going to die. I still have weakness and I still have symptoms and my speech is one of them. I'm not as crisp. It's very hard to see a once strong and vibrant man suddenly strain to hug you or to feel his arm tremble when he shakes your hand. Those are symptoms of ALS. 
the disease which also sparked the best-selling novel, Tuesdays with Maury. The professor mentioned that um, cleaning himself after going to the toilet was the... He, in so many words, he mentioned that it was the worst fear that having someone else have to do that for you. And I think, you know, things like that, um, preserving your pride, preserving your, your humanness, preserving your dignity. But Dean isn't letting Lou Gehrig's disease beat him. I realize that when we overcome this, the life ahead of us is going to be wonderful because I know I'll never take anything for granted ever again. When we overcome this. However, the odds right now are not in Dean's favor. The average lifespan of ALS patients is two to five years after diagnosis. But this is where you can help. Tomorrow night, the River Cats game is helping raise money for ALS. Five dollars from every special $20 ticket is being donated to the local ALS association. The money raised will help fund drug research something desperately needed to help find a cure. Cammie Lloyd, News Talk 1530, KSBK. Now, if you missed a part of this morning's three-part series, we will bring you Dean's story again during the KSBK afternoon news. We will also bring you periodic updates on Dean's battle with the disease and the search for a cure. And one more footnote, Dean, we love you, buddy. Yeah. Rush Limbaugh talks it now. But now, first, make KFBK your first choice for news, weather, and traffic with Jeff Bell and Chris Lane on News Talk 1530 KFBK. Well, today, June 18th, 2003, marks Lou Gehrig's birthday. It was his performance on the field that made him an American icon. But today, baseball fan or not, Americans will remember the man who put a name on the deadly disease that he battled the last years of his life. And at any given time, 300 Sacramentans are fighting that same battle. There is no known cure. No one even knows what causes the disease. What we do know is that Lou Gehrig's disease attacks the nerve cells and pathways in the brain and spinal cord, leaving its victims with no ability to move, to speak, yet their mind remains unaffected. KFBK's Shannon Farron takes a closer look at Lou Gehrig's disease and one very special Sacramento man whose story hits a little too close to home for those of us here at KFBK. Lou Gehrig spent his again. life using the power of his arms, his legs, to achieve success. His athleticism made him arguably the greatest first baseman of all time. This athlete was left without the ability to move. <laughs> Dean Adractis spent his life as a communicator. Say that again. <laughs> made a living talking, asking questions, and delivering information to thousands of listeners right here on KFBK. Children sang a symbolic tribute to Joe inside while outside mourners felt connected to the mayor. Jessica Rodriguez's life was turned upside down seven Sacramento years ago. Sacramento is the city of trees. Six million of those beautiful green bunnies. In Sacramento, Dean Adractus, News Talk 1530, KFBK. This broadcaster was left without the ability to speak. A man that spent his time out on the scene of some of the biggest news stories now spends his time in a chair, unable to move, unable to speak. He's 37 years old. Dean's wife, Catherine, now acts as that voice. What's the one thing that you miss most about having everything function the way you'd like it to be? Independence. You were my Dean was a radio journalist for uh, 12 years before he had symptoms of Lou Gehrig's disease. In 1939, Lou Gehrig was forced to stop playing the game he loved because of ALS. On the face of the earth. 60 years later, Dina Dractus was diagnosed with the same disease and handed the same fate. He would no longer be able to do what he loved. I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you. Our focus is to find a cure as soon as possible, within weeks, within days, within months, as soon as possible, so Dean can be, get better and, and get back to work. Lou Gehrig accomplished more in his short life than most ball players ever dream of. And as for Dean, he is remembered at KFBK also as one of the greats. Shannon Farron, News Talk 1530, KFBK. 
there's nothing any more of us would like around here than to have Dean back. Mm -hmm. One of the kindest, smartest, most talented people I've ever worked with. He trained me when I first came here to KFBK. And, oh, Dean, we miss you so much. Not a week goes by where we don't think about you and hope that this just a horrible disease there's a cure for it mm -hmm. well i've never met him but he sounds like a wonderful man Ugh. our thoughts and prayers with him and his family and all the other victims of uh, als you know every year five thousand americans diagnosed with that disease you can find out more about lou gehrig's disease by logging on to als.community.org and on the same site you'll find out how you can donate to the dean adractus fund you'll see the link for the site on kfpk.com Sacramento's news station. News Talk 1530 KFBK.